Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is your Geek Out for today. I'm happy to say that our Geek Out is once again brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix. You can take control of your IT world from one simple cloud-based platform. With GoToAssist, you can keep all of your systems up and running while keeping all of your users supported. Provide live or unattended support from anywhere, even from your iPad. Mm -hmm. And for a free 30-day trial, you can head over to GoToAssist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code Perillo. And for your convenience, we've placed a link for that in this video's description. Before I get into some of today's updates, I just wanted to let you know that I pulled the statistics for LockerGnome.com and all the articles we publish there every day. Uh, right now, our number one social media traffic driver is Twitter. Number two, YouTube. Not far behind, guys, but uh, you, could, you can turn that number around easily. But here's the interesting thing. Number three, Google+. Plus. Number four, Facebook. There are more people visiting LockerGnome.com from Google+. Plus then Facebook, and we promote equally in both places. So if you thought that Google Plus was ha 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 nothing, ha ha ha, you're wrong, and I've got the statistics to back it up. Now I think all you need to do is just a little more watching of the content that we produce for you in this channel, and possibly looking at the articles is clicking to them from the video descriptions, and we can make YouTube the number one social media traffic driver to LockerGnome.com. I'm going to do my best to give you updates every week. Who will be number one next Monday? Will it be Twitter, YouTube, Google+, or Facebook? You can decide. And speaking of social, one of you in the community, Travis Lockoff, has created a Windows application that makes it easier for you to track the videos that we do for you in the Locker Gnome YouTube channel. And you can easily like the videos from the application running on your Windows desktop. And the cool thing is, this is how it's social, he posted all the screenshots and requests for updates on LockerGnome.net. The link, of course, is in this video's description. But he did a pretty good job with this, and he's willing to add new features as you request them. So if you want the ultimate LockerGnome Windows desktop app, all you need to do is ask Travis, and he'd be willing to accommodate. Over the weekend, I posted my third video about Malwarebytes. They have free tools that include a way for you to possibly speed up your Windows boot time, as well as to unlock previously locked files that the system may be locking down that you may want to delete, but you can't delete because they're locked down. Malwarebytes has free tools available. Check it out. Etsy is okay with selling human teeth and hair. It's just a little weird. I've had people ask if I would send them locks of my hair. I don't really know why they would want that. Unless they're making some kind of creepy wig, possibly even creating a hair shirt. A Chris Perillo hair shirt? It just would not be fun. You don't want to wear a hair shirt. It's a bad idea. Not so friendly requests. Ad wear on Facebook. The human being is the point of failure when security is concerned. They're playing on you, man. It works every time because they just rely on the principles. They know what's going to motivate you to click. And they rely on that. So no matter how many things change, you have to get smarter about what you do online. The lessons of Steve Jobs. The road not taken. This is uh, the third part in an ongoing series that we've been publishing on Locker Gnome. Taking a look at Steve Jobs' life and the lessons that can be learned. Even if uh, you weren't a fan of Apple or never will be a fan of Apple, you just cannot deny that Steve Jobs was a visionary. I mean, and he was also pretty smart at business. And... Who would not want to be successful in their life? No one grows up and says, I want to be a failure. Who says that? Losers say that. Nobody says that. So, you know, you could follow the path uh, and do what everybody else is doing. Uh, kind of like some people argue, well, everyone buys an iPod. That's why they're popular. Mm, okay, if you believe that. Uh, or you could take the road not taken or, or, or less frequently traveled. Uh, and you may break out and do something different that nobody's seen or nobody's done before. And... Get a lot of notoriety for it. Of course, other people may have tried it and failed in the past. The key is, it's never the idea, it's the implementation. Dungeons and Dragons player etiquette. Uh, but there is etiquette involved with D&D, and this was a surprise to me. Does not include, much to my parents' dismay, uh, Satan worship. And I say dismay because they said that D&D, back in the day when I was a kid, they said that that would lead to Satan worship. I've never worshipped Satan. How can I make a podcast popular? Now, there's a question that I get asked frequently, and it's okay. I, I like answering questions, or at least facilitating 
questions to get them to a point where they can be answered. Uh, so Frank Angelone uh, has been a member of our community at large. At least I think that's how you say his last name. I've only read it online. Uh, he was inspired by the things that I was doing, and he started doing things himself and started to interview all these online celebrities like Gary Vaynerchuk and Robert Scoble and Callie Lewis and people that you, you know and maybe some that you don't. Uh, and he put together a guide to help you understand how you can make your own podcast just as popular. And, and this is the thing. You don't have to do the same thing I'm doing. You don't have to do the same thing Frank's doing. You can take from us. You can be inspired by our activities and make it your own. Take a listen. We embedded the MP3 files of those interviews in the article. This is a guest blog post. This is a perfect example of the guest blog posts that I'm looking for every day for LockerGnome.com. If you have an experience, a story to share, if it has to do with geek, internet, tech, culture, we're interested in sharing your story with the world, just like I'm doing right now. How Google has helped America's brick and mortar businesses. You know, so many processes are easier when you just embrace what the web is versus thinking you're not going to understand it. It's just happening. You just kind of plug in and let it go. Allegedly, iPhone 5 pre-orders to begin on September 12th. International sales to begin early October. It's just a rumor. We don't know. Theoretically, it's true. But it's just a rumor. Google to buy Frommer's travel brand. Well, that's kind of impressive. I mean, Google's been doing a lot of acquisitions lately in relation to valuable content. Uh, they acquired Zagat with their ratings to integrate it within Google Plus Local, formerly Google Places. At least I think that's what its name was. I don't know. These companies change their product names all over the place. So, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good news if you like getting out of the house. Apple says Surface similarities are legitimately licensed to Microsoft. Anti-cloning agreement is in place. Well, I guess that's good news for all of you would-be Surface owners, even though we don't yet know how much Surface is going to cost. Google Plus starts rolling out vanity URLs for some accounts. I have a vanity URL. I have it linked in this video's description. Vanity URL because I've got Chris Perillo in the link for my Google Plus profile. It was, uh, I guess, a holdover from Google Buzz days. Remember Google Buzz? I kind of used it. Not really. While I get a lot of emails on a daily basis, I don't always print them out to read them to you here during the Geek Out, but I thought I would do that uh, for this particular email sent to me uh, from Tyler Guthrie. By the way, my email address, chris at perillo.com. Hey, Chris, I'm a huge fan of yours and a fellow geek. I truly value your opinion on things and for the most part agree with them. Well, cool. Even if we don't always agree, at least we can respect one another. I'm a college student currently studying physics and mechanical engineering. <laughs> However, I feel like I really want to teach high school. You are a teacher. Can you please give me your opinion on what you liked and did not like about it and some unbiased truths that most people don't know about teaching? Also, if you have any advice about what college courses would help in my future career, that would be helpful. I took more courses in math in high school for college prep, even though I sucked at math and I knew I sucked at math back then. And I took more courses in math when I could in college uh, because I didn't understand it and I desperately wanted to understand it and in order to challenge uh, myself I had to put myself in situations where I didn't understand everything geometry trigonometry I had fun in advanced math uh, that was kind of a shocker for me um, but, but you know ult ultimately you've, you've got to strive to make yourself a better person uh, every day every week every month every year every decade you know, you don't want to be the same person you were a week ago. And that's a big deal uh, if you're going to be a teacher. Uh, you've got to know your subject matter. You've got to love it. Uh, or, and maybe you just, all you have to do is just love communicating and, and facilitating. I, I don't know everything. I mean, I never claim to know everything. I just love talking about this stuff. And yes, people learn from me talking about stuff. There are probably many things that you know more than I know. It's a guarantee if you know physics and mechanical engineering. Because those were a couple... I didn't take mechanical engineering, but physics... Yeah, I, I took that in high school. I, I cannot remember how I passed with a B minus, but I did. Barely. Two and two is three. We'll see you later. And, you know, to easily check it out, you can click the link. It's in the video's description. I, I think I need to keep saying that to remind people.